Hey guys, so let's start with the apps that I recommend for you to use and uh, I think for uh, coding, uh, Sublime Text 3 is the best way to, to go. Um, currently, um, the third version is, is in beta, but you can download uh, for free right now. Uh, and some feature that I really enjoyed is uh, the common palette that uh, Sublime F. You can accept pretty much anything in the settings menu. Call package commands, handle Sublime projects, call JIT commands, for example, file switching. You can multi-edit uh, your code. You can create snippets uh, for, to not... Um, write the same code over and over again and you have a lot of keyword shortcuts to help uh, on your productivity. The other uh, app that I'm currently using is CodeKit. Uh, it's for Mac and CodeKit is an app that helps you build app websites faster. It, it compiles all the cutting edge language like SAS, LAS, Stylus and uh, CoffeeScript. Uh, one of the the features that I really like is the, the live refresh of your browser. So when you save your code, um, CodeKit will um, reload uh, your browser. It combines, uh, minifies and syntax check uh, your JavaScript code and even optimize image. All stuff that uh, really speed uh, your, both, your, both your website and your workflow. Uh, CodeKit have to uh, Bower uh, that lets you quickly install over 700,000 components and that, uh, for example, jQuery, Modernize, Bootstrap and even uh, WordPress. Bower is now built in to CodeKit, so all of those, those uh, resources are just two clicks away. And one uh, uh, feature that I like very much too is the auto prefixer. You just imagine that you are writing your CSS code and you don't know uh, what um, are the, the prefix, the vendor prefix that um, will uh, help you on the Internet Explorer, for example, because some feature that you, you want to add to, uh, to your website and uh, Internet Explorer don't, doesn't uh, allow you in the the default way. So uh, when you save the the, the file, um, CodeKit will add automatically the vendor prefix that uh, based on the latest information about each browser. So the next um, website that I'm using is Eroku. Eroku is um, a web, uh, platform that I deploy my websites to, to show uh, to my clients, for example. It's free. Not all free, but you have an account for free. And for, it's pretty easy to, to use it. And uh, I will show you later how to, to use it uh, with your code. And for last, uh, we're gonna use Twitter Bootstrap, which is uh, I like to see Bootstrap is the most popular HTML, CSS, and GS framework for developing responsive mobile first projects on the web. And it's true. Um, I think Bootstrap is the the most popular and the best framework to start with, and have a lot of features, a lot of components. Uh, that if you don't, if you you aren't comfortable with uh, all these things, you can learn pretty easy. You can go, and I think you should uh, check it out deeply the code, and because uh, you will need it.